Unfortunately for Reese, it was another miss on the outer ring. Game shot and the match. Andy Davidson. You can see Andy Davidson carrying on that incredible run of finishing in that game. He's four from four. And he hits Reese Colley 4 4. Fantastic display, 100 average, just over, in fact. All of those finishers combinations, the smallest was 60. They're the ones that win your matches 60, 70, 70 again, and 86. 100% checkout success. Andy Davidson, as good as through, if not quite there mathematically yet. Reese Colley has got work to do. Charlie Large in action next, the Pompey player looking to be on home turf tomorrow night. He takes on Jimmy Vansky. Straight for it. Level three required. Yeah, is that awkward? No score. I think it was. Charlie just required couldn't see enough. 40. And Large gets a clear look at tops, but the doubling has really cost Vansky now. A dozen darts missed. Game shot. And Charlie. And the match. Charlie Large. He's having it large on Friday night here at the Motor Super Series. He gets a big win. He gets a big opponent. In fact, he leapfrogs Jimmy Vansky. And let me tell you, that takes some doing. A 4-2 victory for Large. Four out of nine compared to just two from 14 from Vansky, for whom it all went wrong in the last couple of legs. He's down to third in the table now. Level on points with Large, but crucially only four ahead of Colley and Dubridge. And that gap will get smaller because those two are playing after this break. And he misses it by a mile in the end. Bullseye, a much smaller target, but a seemingly a much easier one. Dubridge steals that leg somewhat. Deflection there. Dubridge doesn't even want to finish, but it's a big one. And treble 17 is the target to leave the ball. Game shot on a yeah, fifth that's an almost central Reece ball, Colley. but that is a 1-2-1, one, one, and it's 3-2 now. The clinging on continues. 45. Mark, you require 107. Well, he's not really thought that through there, Reese Collier. A dart towards the bullseye would have left him on a finish. Maybe academic. 71. But now he would have at least had a chance. Yeah, very frustrating once again for Reese Colley. Now all he can do is put on the pressure and you see that shake of the head. 132. Maybe Mark, you require too little too 36. late for Reese Colley. Always the way you don't do what you should. The shot before, don't leave a finish. Then you hit Eight the two shot, trebles. The match, but it's the double Dubridge. that does the damage as Dubridge pretty much does for Reese Colley's chances and keeps his own alive in the process. Flash gets the start that he wanted. But Reese Colley's early wobbles may cost him come the end of the evening. A 4-2 win, a decent game of darts in fairness. The 1-2-1 one, one from Colley was brilliant, but it is probably too late for him. And Dubridge moves within two of third place. Jimmy Van Ski, who's back in action after the break. He takes on the table topper, Andy Davidson. We're looking for a big ton topper, and he's not going to find it on this visit. So a real chance here for Davidson to secure his place into Saturday night. He's going to get his chance. Vansky's going to make him wait, though. One hundred and five. So it's treble seventeen. Eighty-seven. Twenties. Double five. Game shot. Andy and Davidson Andy delivers Davidson. and books his place at finals night of the Super Series. The power of Scotland as Davidson goes through. He's the first of 10 points in Group B. He does it with time to spare and he does it in pretty good fashion as well. A 96.4 average. Hit half of his double attempts in the game, including the double five for that match-winning qualification 87 checkout. But is Jimmy Van Ski... About to check out of the tournament. Another defeat for him leaves him vulnerable. Mark Dubridge chasing him, and he's in action next against Charlie Large. Mark, you require 62. Great dart, great start, great finish. Game shot on a second Mark Dubridge, Mark Dubridge, who doubles his lead in this match. Straight for the bull Mark, here. It's a 10 50. dart leg. I feel like booing him, to be honest, but game shot and the match. he has Mark won Dubridge. the game and he's won it well. In fact, he's won it very, very well. A 4-1 win against Charlie Large.
but the average, the best we've seen, 105.64. Dubridge showing us why he was favourite to win this group. Look, he's not going to win the group, but he might win the week. He is on course now to make it through to finals night after drawing level with the man he's just beaten and Jimmy Van Ski, all on six points and all to play for after a fantastic performance from Flash. He defeats Large 4-1. Coming up next, Collie takes on Van Ski, but we will reflect on all the evening's action and we've got a little announcement to make as well after this short break. He's double 18, Get finds double 18, match. and that is Jimmy the match. Let's go the way of Jimmy Vansky. He stops that decline and does manage to find a couple of points on the board. It's not the closest of battles. Race Collie really is struggling, but you can see what it means to Jimmy Vansky. Big fist pump there. And there's the averages, 93.57 for Reese Collie. It was a 94.25 for Jimmy Van Ski, but it was that outer ring, four from eight, 50%, including that 101 checkout that saw him win over 4-1. Well, do join us after a short break as we will see Mark Dubridge. He'll be taking on our table topper, Andy Davidson. Require 40. To carry on. Game shot. The, the perfect match. night. Andy Davidson. Andy Davidson, who's through to finals night, has just entered Dubridge's hopes. It is... 4-2 victory for the Scotsman and that win for him is actually well it keeps Charlie Large ahead of Mark Dubridge and it means that Dubridge is going to have to get a result against Jimmy Van Ski later on this evening. Davidson guaranteed to finish first in this group. We will see him again in the final game of the night but up next it's a big game for Large. Stay tuned. Charlie, An you opportunity for large 40. to move within one of qualification. Yeah, back on double ten. Can he find the target? He Game can this time round. Three leg. two. Charlie large. Charlie large. To be in front of a home crowd on Saturday night. Sixty. Rishi required is 25. Is that the closest he's going to come? Game shot on a six flag. Rishi calling. We're at three apiece, so he really wants those valuable two points now. One hundred and thirty-two. I will say against the darts, Rishi Collie is playing very, very well. He's down to a finish one two nine after just nine darts. 56. Rishi require 129. Oh, Game what a finish. And, the match. and what Rhys a couple Collie. of darts through the heart of Charlie Large, who had a chance to qualify. Require 55. A chance here for Jimmy. Double 18 is the target for him, and again over to double nine. 46. Same result. Mark, you require 36. Potentially a little bit of tension here right? I think just watching the release of the, the last couple of darts Game shot on from Van Skies maybe Mark holding Dubridge. on just for that millisecond longer than we said at the start of the night that we thought eight points would get you through Mark Dubridge now on course to finish second although Jimmy's got something to say about that he's on course to get to eight points Van Ski also on eight points but if Charlie Large beats Davidson then Van Ski could go out on that number what a response. Jimmy Very required, much anything 41. you can do, I can do too. And Jimmy Vansky misses the single number. Shake of the head. Corrects it for double 12. 29. And again, it's that dart Mark just being pulled low. 93. Just feeling it. It's a fantastic 180 in answer from Mark Dubridge. 33. But just a match ago, it looked like Charlie Jimmy Large was about to book 12. his place in finals night. Dubridge is in that same position. Game shot now, in order to flag, do that, Jimmy he's going to have to break Vansky's throat. Jimmy requires 66. Game shot and there it is. Flag, Jimmy, Jimmy Vansky books his place at finals night. I'm not sure he knows it, but he's got the two legs that he needed. Mark, now, 10 is the target. 10. Game shot and the match. 
Mark Dobrik. So Mark Dobrik does win the game, but it's Jimmy Van Ski who goes through to finals tonight. He needed two legs. He got two legs. He doesn't look like a man who knows he's through, but he is going to find out when he walks around the corner. Mark Dubridge is going to have to wait to see if he will join him. He's got to eight points. That is usually enough, but it won't be for Mark Dubridge if Charlie Large can beat the group winner, Andy Davidson. That's coming up in the final match of the night after the break. I've enjoyed seeing Andy that hit that target. 32. So 32 here for Davidson. And game shot on his second leg. Back Andy at a level Davidson. game and back on throat. Andy oh. require 156. Double 18. Wow. Andy Davidson. Well, that really, really does hurt. Perfect response. Repeating the checkout. He's just had hit against him. 138. Yeah, almost poetic, but not quite. We'll be back for 18. But we've seen that be a bit of a banana skin for a few of the players Charlie tonight. Don't 18. want to be slipping in the nine. Game shot on well, the that's flag. well thought Charlie out and well executed, isn't it? Higher than Charlie both of those in the table, but he sort of had to struggle through in the end. Large has to hit... Game shot on a six and he leg. has hit. Charlie Large. Uh, no score. But he gets another chance. Charlie who would have seen this? 46. And a penny for the thoughts of Mark Dubridge, who will be eliminated if this goes in. Ten. He's had his chance. Charlie Andy Large misses two four. darts to qualify. Wow, drama to the last as Davidson looks for four. And Game this shot. time does find four. A fist bump there Davidson. for Andy Davidson. But heartbreak for Charlie Large. Did find chances, did have opportunities to put himself through to Saturday. But it will be Mark Dubridge who takes that final spot. And there's your averages, 95-41, 92-31 for Charlie Large, including that wonderful 107 finish to level it up at three apiece. But it is... Andy Davison, who tops the table, and it will be Charlie Large who's going home. And we will be joining Andy in the studio just after this very short break. Yeah, Andy Davidson has joined us for a little chat after winning Group B. Um, Andy, first of all, congratulations. But I want to ask you about playing in that last game. Did you know everything else that was going on? You were safely through, but obviously Charlie was trying to join you and Mark Dubridge kind of hoping you'd get the job done in the practice room. I'll be honest, I had absolutely no idea what the permutations were. I mean, I saw the guys in the practice room because they were all surrounding the laptop and the fixture of play and just, yeah, I did feel they were a little bit tense tonight and I just felt myself. If I went and won my first game tonight, I felt I was going to be through and then after that, I relaxed and yeah, I played pretty good, I felt, so... Yeah, bring on tomorrow. Yeah, you certainly did play well tonight. Do you think you've made a little bit of a statement this evening? Uh, well, potentially, yeah. I mean, I think it's more for myself because I don't feel I've played that good on Tuesday and Wednesday. I, I felt I played OK Monday without getting the results, so to speak. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be honest, I was pretty rubbish. But Thursday was a little bit better. It was a little bit better last night. But tonight, yeah, it was a bit more like my normal self. And uh, yeah, it was good to be relaxed on the stage and yeah. They, f they flew tonight. Laura, he really dominated this group, didn't he? We just spoke about the fact he's the only player that's got a positive leg difference. It shows how dominant he's been in this group. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. And I think, you know, going back to what Andy was just saying there, with regards to the, the, your Group A campaign, you know, you, you've come into this group, had not such a good Tuesday, not such a good Wednesday. And I think you've just shown that you've just got that, you're obviously very comfortable up on the stage and you've got that ability to really knuckle down, to really focus when, when push comes to shove. So for me, just, yeah, just been really impressive all round. Yeah, it's only your third week here, obviously, Champions Week, uh, having won your week last time. Do you, are you feeling at home here now? I, f I certainly feel a lot more at home, certainly putting in Group B. It seems, it seems to be Group B is, seems to be where I want, when I seem to come alive. I mean, yeah, it seems to me that the Group A, sort of playing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is almost a bit of a warm-up for me to sort of get used to playing at this sort of time. But, yeah, the last, the last two days, again, I felt I've played a little bit better. I still don't feel I'm quite on top. I mean, I'm... I'm 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 almost there. I mean, I felt I played good. I felt I played decent tonight. I still know there's another gear there, but 
yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable and I'm, yeah, I'm quite confident for tomorrow. Yeah, what about tomorrow then? Because obviously you've had that experience. I mean, you say Group B, but maybe it's just evenings, Andy, that you, you yeah. perform better in. And tomorrow, of course, 7.30, the action gets underway. An audience in here. How much are you going to feed off that and the experience you had last time? Well, as you said it, Chris, that's, you know, the fact that I have won a week in here, I think that's going to stand me in good stead, albeit... Yeah, don't get me wrong. I was quite lucky to win that final. Sorry, Aiden, but I was quite. I was quite. I was quite. I was quite lucky to win that final. I'll. I'll. I'll be the first to admit that. But yeah, the fact that I've got the job done in that stage means there's no reason I can't do that again tomorrow. Right. Let's just show you all who has made it through to finals night this week. This is the full lineup. Richie Burnett won Group A earlier in the week. Andy Davidson winning Group B, going through with Jimmy Vansky and Mark Dubbridge in the end, and then Shane McGurk and Killian McCormack, the Irish duo. Uh, making it through Group C. And we can now show you the group's four finals night tomorrow. Here they are. So, Andy, you're going to be in with McGurk and Dubbridge, Richard Burnett in with Killian McCormack and Jimmy Vansky. We'll get your initial reaction to your group. Well, they're all tough. I mean, Shane, Shane's, Shane was pretty awesome in Group C. I mean, I said that to him uh, when, when I saw him earlier on. He was, he, was, he was the best player in Group C by quite some distance. And... Well, we all know what Mark Dobridge has done. He's got the experience. So, you know, I am still the outsider in that group as far as I see it. So, but I've got, I've got no experience. The fa you know, for the fact I played really well tonight, there's no reason why I can't come through that. Is he the outsider, Laura? Well, I did pull a face when you said that. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that uh, the odds compilers will be thinking the same thing. The way that you've performed, the way you've played, I definitely think you're going to go into that group as, as definitely one of the favourites. Um, the other players that are there tomorrow, you just mentioned Mark. We did see a, a very different Mark Dubridge tonight. He played really well, didn't he? He, he did. Was, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, no, he was absolutely, he was absolutely class tonight. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. He, he, was, he was something different in the practice room. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll be honest about that because he seemed a bit, a bit more relaxed this evening. So the fact that, yeah, he did, he, did, he, he did regress a bit against me in the sort of last three legs there. But, you know... I think he did. He won all other three games tonight, yep. didn't he? So yeah, it was it was nice to see him bounce back from. Uh, yeah, he he was he was disappointed with Thursday, but it was nice to see him bounce back. And we were saying whoever sneaked through, whether it was Charlie or Mark. Everyone's got a chance, haven't they, on a finals night? Yeah, absolutely. It's, again, it's, it starts, it's another night. You've got to draw a line under everything that's happened. You know, take forward the confidence that you've got from getting through the groups. But tomorrow's another different day. It's a different format. It feels very much more cutthroat when you get to finals night. You've obviously got that short round robin stage and then you've got the knockout stages. So, yeah, it's, it's a different feeling, a different day. And, you know, the results could be, you know, for the six that are up there, it could be anyone. And Andy mentioned that Shane McGurk sort of dominated Group C. He's dominated Group B. Richie Burnett was through in Group A before he even lost a match. So you've got three players who are going into finals night on really good form as well. It's going to be fun. Yeah, definitely going to be fun. I think uh, you know, we're all looking forward to just hoping that just see more of the same from the likes of Andy, from Richie, but also, I mean, Andy's mentioned himself, you think he's, you've got another gear to go through. So if that's the case, then it could be another explosive finals night. Final thought from you, Andy, going into finals now, how much do you think you can sort of carry on this role you've had the last couple of nights and maybe draw on the experience having won on that stage before? Well, yeah, it's interesting. The fact that I've actually mirrored my uh, Week 11 experience, the fact that my first game on Thursday, I lined up losing 4-2, and then I've won seven in a row. To do that again means I could go and do four in a row tomorrow. I mean, why not? There's no, there's no reason why I can. I mean, I've, I've played decent tonight, so, yeah, bring it on tomorrow. I'm, I can't wait for it. Good omens and, and good luck. We will see you Thank both you. tomorrow, and we will hope... To see you tomorrow as well. The action gets underway from 7.30 for finals night. It's a really strong field. Davidson dominated tonight in Group B and is looking to win again on the Super Series stage. We'll see you tomorrow.